Hey, travelers, back in the backyard, of course, because where else would we be? Completely different weather again. Yeah, completely different weather. <laughs> it's it's a scorcher today. I feel like yeah. I feel like there's at least one dude that watches this show is just like a weather nerd, and he just likes our commentary on the weather. <laughs> He's like, I don't watch it about that beer crap. I just want the weather. Well, today in Wisconsin, it's hot. It's one of those so, folks who watch the Weather Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's like my mom's side of the family, but uh, they don't watch this show, so that's okay. Uh, tell, tell them we're talking. about Maybe weather. they do. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. Anyway, uh, anyway, we're gonna start off the show. Normally, what we uh, do at the end of the show, because some of you don't make it to the end of the show, and and I can't blame you. Um, <laughs> so we we've been talking the last couple of weeks about me shaving my beard, and and Troy shaving his head. So we, we've kind of got that plan together now. So what is it going to take for us to shave my beard, Troy's head, the my wife? The only reason we're doing it that way is because you don't grow hair very well and I don't grow a beard very well. Right. Yeah, we, right. we are yep. the complete opposites on growth. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to raise money for the American Cancer Society. My wife has already started a uh, fundraising effort for that. So she's already surpassed a thousand dollars. We want to make it to two grand. Boom. And and uh, the salon that what my wife and I own, uh, we're going to match five hundred of that. And then so that'll you know, that's even more money. So even if we go way over that, that's great. That's the. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't think I don't think you can throw enough money at cancer at this point. No, you can't. And and for those of you that are new to this show, uh, maybe you haven't watched uh, for that long. My wife actually went through breast cancer about three years ago, so it's it's a a cause that's near and dear to my heart, and it's near and dear to to all of us here. So uh, any any money we can raise really is um, yeah is a, is a great is a great chip thing. away at that block. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll put the link below so you can go and donate there, and then we'll we'll probably do a special episode if we if we make it to two grand, we'll do a special episode. Oh, yeah. uh, Beth will. I'll shave my beard and she'll, you know, get rid of the the mop on Troy's head. I like to think more of a shearing than a shaving. Yeah, you would be. <laughs> yep, more of a shearing, and then um, some birds are gonna make some great nests. Yeah, and then probably <laughs> through the winter we're just gonna let it go. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna see how far I can I can grow it through probably the spring. You know. Yeah. Do a, a winter growth. Yeah, it'll be fun. Call it the winter rye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, how much can you grow in winter? Uh, I can get it really long. I I, I can. Uh, well, I'm kind of. I can get a ponytail into it. I went so. a decade without growing a lot of hair, so it's kind of a new territory for me. How much hair can I grow? I'm gonna see if I can do the beard comb over. <laughs> the beard comb over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope hope I can just over the side. You know. Okay, cousin Ed almost. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way that I won't wear a hat on this show. But uh, we got three fun beers here. Yeah. So I've been wanting to do this for years. We've now. talked about it forever. We've, we've talked about it forever. Aldi. And I hope those of you that are watching have an Aldi where you are. Believe it or not, so I, I was in Europe this last fall, and uh, there's Aldis everywhere over oh, yeah. in Europe. And, of course, they're nothing like the Aldis in the U.S. Oh, really? <laughs> no. That's bizarre. I, I walked past an Aldi in Budapest, and it was like this chic, really nice store. And I, I took a double take. I stopped. I took a double take, and I went, that says, that says Aldi. Wait a minute. And it looks like super nice. These are the guys that need a quarter for me to get a shopping cart, right? Right. (laughs) Right. In America. (laughs) I don't know that they charge a quarter for that in in, uh, in Budapest or not, but uh, so I I know the the beer is worldwide. So believe it or not, Aldi carries its own beer. Aldi's has its own. I mean, that's uh, kind of. They've got a pretty big selection. Yeah, they got a wide selection. So I'm kind of excited to dump. I'm going to pop one here. It's generic as all get out. Um, <laughs> and like the like, most delightful way possible. Yes. Well, you know, you don't you don't spend a lot on the on the bottles. You don't spend a lot on the labels. But hopefully, the beer inside is is uh, is great. This first one I think is just called Holland. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a lager. Is that right? Holland. Ho- Holland. 1839. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, they gave it a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's actually imported from Holland. That's that's what it says anyway. Brewed in Holland, imported from Holland. And it's a lager beer. 1839 would yeah. have been Martin Van Buren as president. Oh my gosh! Here yeah. we go. Dropping dropping some. 
presidential knowledge on you. Just bringing what, it. What kind of week would we have if we didn't have presidential Martin knowledge? Martin Van Buren. Yeah. His Martin nickname Van was Buren. The Magician. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, because he was the guy who worked behind the scenes to get stuff done. I'll be damned. Yeah. Yeah. Wish we had one of those kind of presidents. <laughs> A quiet in one? The, in the last 50 years. No, yeah. We're in the age of the imperial presidency. Yeah. I just want imperial beers, no imperial presence. So, uh, I mean, Holland, so this is a, I'm assuming this is their take on a Heineken. Yeah, it, it doesn't have that uh, that skunky taste like a Heineken Yeah, does. it's actually a way smoother Heineken if yeah. I had to give it a characteristic. Yeah. Well, first of all, Amsterdam is known for Heineken. That's where Heineken comes from. Mm-hmm. Heineken's known. It was, I think, the first beer to be imported with green bottles. <clears throat> and I've never actually fact-checked myself on this, but the story I heard was that the green bottles were used because that's all they could find after World War II. Could all, be. All the brown bottles and clear bottles were gone. The only th- the only thing I know about it is Amsterdam is very proud of Heineken. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, when you go into the airport, hard to find there a beer is, that's There is just Heineken. Heineken everywhere in oh, the yeah. airport, and all kinds of funky stuff, and it's it's crazy. You know, Heineken is a uh, you know, so it started being imported in the United States in the 1960s, and it really exploded as like a high end specialty beer. Yeah. Thank God we're past those days, because. Pfft, Right. If somebody brought me in Heineken, I'm like, hey, this especially be like, yeah, thanks. Up, pass. What else you got? I mean, I don't know, man. Bud Light. Heineken it is. <laughs> so I'd say. Uh, th- I, you know, do you know what I would say this is? It almost tastes like, uh, it just tastes like beer. This is the most basic beer for I, I would say this is great for somebody that you're having over that doesn't like craft beer. Yeah. It's more of a Bud Light drinker. And you go, you know what? I got the thing for you. I'm going to Aldi's today. I, I've got a craft beer for you. And don't do not do the quote thing, but say, I got a craft beer for you. And you pull Holland out. A little Holland. And you go, there you go. Have at that one. They'll you know, like it. Yeah. it's uh, it, 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 If you ever had someone who's only ever drank like craft beer, it's like, what is a, just a regular beer taste like? Yeah. In this weird reverse world where that person has never experienced just a basic beer I'd this would them. actually be a good start to a, a beer tasting. Yeah, when, the, when you're going, you're going through beers with people, um, and just you know figuring out flavors and, and those yeah. kinds of. This things. This is like a base beer flavor. Yeah. Like this is beer before anything. This else. This is, is beer. A, this is a lager. Uh, we should probably. Uh, it's, <clears throat> I think it says it's a lager on the bottle. It is a lager. Yep. Yeah, which is uh, on point for Heineken. Heineken is also a lager. Mm-hmm. So if that's the beer you're imitating, so I think that's pretty much. That's a beer. It's a beer. And, I, and that's pretty much what the label says uh, without saying it's a beer. it's It says it's, you know, a beer. It's uh, only 5%, so really. Um, it's actually not bad for uh, as, as simple of a beer it is, 5%. Right. Because, like, you know, 5% is kind of becoming a ubiquitous uh, beer uh, ABV, like all the seltzers that are coming out, right. all these specialty things. Everyone's getting for that 5% alcohol, but... Really, that's smidged high for the majority of a lot of like general beer drinking. Like you're looking at Coolers, Bud Light, Budweiser. All those are like cool, like per- three point two. Yeah, they're or, like four percent. Know, if you're in Minnesota, whatever. everything's three two. Right. <laughs> so, you or know, at least that's the way it used to be. I'm not really sure. I haven't been following uh, Minnesota beer laws. Yeah. Uh, lately, but this next one oh, I, I find it. funny because it's called Vernus Gruner. <laughs> uh, I have never and pronounced a, that a Pils correctly. German beer, except it looks like Pilsner or Quell from uh, the Czech Republic. The, the label does anyway, so you can... Oh, boy, that's going to be a... Well, it's going to be a what, foamer. That's what we call a milk pour. <laughs> you can go to you go to Modicum and get a milk pour. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like the fancy way of pouring a Pilsner, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, actually, when I go to get beer there now since COVID happened... You can, while you're waiting, you know, for them to go retrieve your beer from the cooler, you say, can you get me a quick milk po- milk pour? And you just shoot that. <laughs> and then uh, then you get your beer and you go. Uh, I'll have to go and try it. I haven't Alcoholism, done it yet. Alcoholism, man. I don't know. I, I need to try that. It actually, like, I I've literally haven't done it yet. Yeah, you should do it. So uh, looking at this guy, the hey, Vinesian Gruner, what'd yeah. you call it? <laughs> Vernish Gruner? Vernish Gruner. Yeah, there's no way I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pilsner Quell is probably the first Pilsner. It came out of Pilsen in the Czech Republic. Yep. And now if you're looking at Pilsner's German versus Czech, uh, Czech tends to have a little harder water. Right. And that harder water really makes – it's been my experience, and by all means, if you have a better argument against me, throw it in the comments. But uh, Czech 
that that harder water really makes flavors pop more. Yep. It makes your hops pop, make your grain pop. Whereas like here in Wisconsin, we have a lot of soft water, so a lot of our pilsners in this area tend to be more German esque, right. softer, more you know, luxurious, if you will. So I, I did have a pilsner or a quell when I was when ooh, I was nice in, and fresh. when I was in Prague. It was nice and fresh, uh, way better over there than it is here. Fresh beer is always better, especially yeah. when you're dealing with the lagers. So uh, it's pale. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got uh, it's, it's got, got a a almost it. uh, Coors Light look. <laughs> this also tastes like beer. It does. Yeah. It's got a little bit um, what I like to call nose feel to it, mm-hmm. where uh, you drink it and it kind of shoots up your nose a little bit. Yeah. Effervescent, uh, maybe. It's kind of got those uh, those kind of Czech Pilsner finishing notes. Those little harder, lingering hop flavors, but not as hard as the the, the Czech ones are. I would say if if that uh, trend continues, that uh, all of these beers are like their predecessors, just like less intense. Right. Yeah. It's right. Like if you can make a less intense Pilsner at Quell, that's what this is, which is already a kind of an oxymoron of a sentence. But <laughs> here we are, twenty twenty, the world's upside down. You know, world's full of oxymorons. <laughs> I'm one of them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. It's not. It's not. It certainly isn't a bad beer. Uh, if you're looking for a pilsner, you didn't just, spend a lot. Just, of them. No, uh, this was. I think five bucks a six pack. Yeah. So bang for your buck. These aren't bad. You're, you're getting. Uh, you're getting what you pay for. Either of these would be good, just like cheap beers to have while you're mowing lawn or something. And you're just like, right. if you're just rifle, like if you have like a riding lawnmower in a big yard to mow, you could just rifle through these and not have to worry about it. Sure. Yeah. For those for those of you that bring the cooler onto your lawnmower because you have such a big lawn to mow, uh, that's not me, obviously, as you can see. Um, I usually just have a beer after I'm done. I do I do the front yard and then have a beer, and then you do the backyard and have a beer. And your yard is even smaller than mine, so. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes you have two beers after the front yard because the front yard's a little bit bigger than the back. Do five minutes and then uh, have a beer and. Yeah, yeah. Do the Mine boulev- takes a little a little longer than that. You do the boulevards, that takes another beer. It's 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 a pilsner. I I mean I don't uh it's not bad. It's a well made beer. It's just not for those of, those of us in America that have expected something above and beyond every time that we drink a new beer. <laughs> it is not it. However, it is a good solid pilsner. So, it might just be the dad coming out, but there are some days you just need a beer. Yeah, you're like, I don't need a. I that's don't need, a beer. I don't need a big sweet stout. I don't need some aggressively triple hopped, you know, fruited IPA. I just, I just, I just want alcohol in my system. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this next one actually has a, a name called? that Troy could even pronounce. It's Breckenbach. Oh, the Breckenbach. The Breckenbach. I already feel like I know who they're ripping off here. Yeah. Yeah, Shiner. Shiner. Well, the label looks like Shiner, but the the name would indicate that they're uh, ripping off Breckenridge. Yeah, but that's okay. You rip off two breweries at the same time and double the that's double right. the likelihood of someone grabbing your beer in your uh, yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> so you've got you've got a little bit of a what I would say is a caramely looking yeah. beer. There's a guy I know who would call that orange. Really, he he's the word orange to describe a lot of beers. That's uh, not good. That's yeah. that's not orange in the least. That's, that's like what a hint I of would orange. say is caramel. <laughs> caramel is like a brown orange, right? And that's a brown orange. Yeah, but uh, you know, when you're doing a generic brand, I think there's an art to making your labels look familiar enough that people can identify what it is without oh. actually having to look it up. And I and I don't mean to discri- you know, yeah, or, just, or say anything good. bad about it. I, good on them. Yeah, it's an interesting yeah, it. uh, tactic. Yeah, and uh, this when I saw this, I was like, "This looks like Shinerbach." Yeah, and uh, if you're not familiar with Shinerbach, that's not a Spatzel, Texas. Spatzel. Spatzel. Yeah. The actual name of the brewery is Spatzel Brewing, and sure. Shiner just happens to be their uh, the name. That's it. That's the name of the town. The town's name Shiner. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, I was so, gonna say there there isn't a, a German sounding name really anywhere in Texas, but. Yeah, Spatzel Brewing. Though. Shiner sounds right. Yeah, that's the name of the town, and that's just the <laughs> Bach. And it's obviously a very popular beer, Shiner Box, everywhere, so it makes sense why they are trying to rip it off. Uh, the color goes along with the flavor. That just is caramel. kind of a caramely 
Simple caramel. Very simple caramel. And this right. is almost like a... Not overly sweet? This might be one of the... Uh, it's still a lager. It's a Bach Boxer. Uh, that's German for Ram, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Haven't gotten to that one in uh, Duolingo yet. <laughs> Haven't gotten that one. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I'm pretty sure Bach means uh, Ram in German, or at least some European language. I'm sure Andy will comment. Don't yeah, worry about Andy, it. No. And, uh, you know, box are an interesting German beer. We've had all lagers today. When's the last time we had all lagers? Ah, it's been a spell. It's been a yeah. minute. Yeah. yeah. We had all lagers. And these are usually a little heavier in alcohol, a little higher in uh, malt content, and it's kind of meant to be beers that you drink in the fall, winter, uh, well, late spring. Well, perfect time of the year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except for it being crazy hot. The leaves are falling, but. This might be the most, my least favorite of the three, and I just, I feel like I'm missing something. I wish there was just a little bit more something. something I, I would say it's probably a Bach that's oversimplified. It's uh, like somebody took it and stripped everything out of it. And it's uh, probably a, a low grain bill, and it make you make a Bach as cheap as you can make it. Yeah, I mean, if that was their goal, they, they successfully did it. But, I, I mean, honestly, and, and, I, and I'll tell you this, the... The people that shop at Aldi here compared to the people that shop at Aldi in Europe. Yeah. Uh, completely different people. Really? Yeah. No, yeah, it's an interesting. I mean, we shop at Aldi, so. I, I was at Aldi's the other week. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, but, yeah. I, but, I mean, your clientele is different. and Yeah, you're going from that. Well, I mean, it's just ultimately a different grocery store culture completely in Europe. You know, they don't right. put the preservatives in their food, so you have to grocery shop every two to three days. Sure. Because you can't put anything and just be like, I'll get to you in a month. A frozen pizza goes bad in two weeks. But that's also why it tastes so good. That's also why their stuff's good. And that's also <laughs> why not... My theory why Europeans are generally speaking less fat than we are. Oh, uh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. You bet. We put preservatives in everything, even things that don't need it. Yeah. 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 Uh, someday when COVID's not happening or... When we have a vaccine or something, I don't know, something changes. Magic. Yeah, magic. Mm -hmm. uh, we will go over to Europe, and we'll bring you with us. We promise, uh, whether physically or virtually, just like we're doing today. But, uh, we'll go to an Aldi's. Yeah, we're going to go to an Aldi. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> we're going to go discover yeah, yeah. Aldi next, in Europe. <laughs> this next stop on the tour is an Aldi's. Yeah. Look how different it is. Look how different it is. <laughs> it's a pretty nice place, huh? 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 Yeah, in America, they probably have to buy all different ingredients and stuff. They're like, ah, like, that stuff in Europe, that's better for you. Yeah, I know. This is America. Yeah, America. Let's get the, yeah, let's get yeah. the gross stuff for them. But I will agree. That it's uh, it's an oversimplified Bach. Um, yeah. But all in all, three just, I mean, if you're looking for beer. They got beer. They got beer. Cheap. You know, it wouldn't be a bad beer place to get rad beer from if you're going camping or something, or if you have like a bachelor party and you just you just need beers and you don't want to yeah. spend a ton of money and you're already right. at all these. Like they're definitely worth grabbing. At oh least, yeah, it's it's it's, it's nothing. The, it's nothing I would you know. Yeah, no. Turn my nose up to. If nothing else, my curiosity has been sated a little bit. I've always oh, every time I walk by them, I'm always like. Uh, you know, maybe maybe we'll do another episode uh, and we'll grab three others down the road. No, we'll keep we'll see, keep grabbing them. See, see if what, we can't uh, find a, the best. Maybe that's the goal. That's the segment. Right. Find the best all these beer. I will. I will tell you also. This is not sponsored in any way. We bought these, so. Yeah. No. no. Yeah, we're currently <laughs> not sponsored by anything. Which, in, if you want to sponsor something, we're available. So. <laughs> This is my dog Tango, by the way. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so we had Aldi beers, and uh, we want to know if you've had Aldi beers. Let us know about them. Yeah, if you found one in particular that's good, I'd be curious to know what it is. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Otherwise, remember uh, what we told you at the beginning of the uh, episode: donate to our charity, uh, get my beard off my face, and Troy's mop off his head. Uh -huh. Otherwise, check us out on all the social medias that we have: YouTube, of course, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those good things. Ring the bell. That's right. Ring the bell if you really think you want to. Otherwise, we will definitely see you next week, and God only knows what the weather is going to be like. <laughs> if you're here for the weather, be prepared. It's going <laughs> to get colder fast. <laughs> That's right. Where knows God said. Till next week, everybody. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.